What if I told you, my darlings, that by using two flower pots from the dollar store, you would be able to make a piece that would find itself on the most elegant tables. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need two of these three pot flower pots from the Dollar Tree painted in whatever color of your choosing. You will need one of these decorative glass bowls, four of our Dollar Tree candlesticks, six of these push lights, some floral foam, and of course, any decorative chandelier pieces you would like. Today, we are going to be using our hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, some two-part epoxy, a level, as well as our soldering iron. Let's get crafting. Once you have spray painted your flower pots in any color of your choosing to match your theme, we are then going to glue these two pots together in an alternating fashion. To do this, we are going to go in simply with our hot glue gun because any other stronger adhesive like an E6000 or a super glue might eat the paint, thereby releasing some of that bond and that is definitely not what we want to happen. So so once you have placed your hot glue into those seams, place your pot one on top the other, press down and allow to cool for a few minutes. While our two pots are off to the side cooling, we are going to join two of our candlesticks together. And we are going to do this using a two-part epoxy, the benefits of which are one, that is going to dry crystal clear, and two, it is going to give you a permanent bond that repels moisture, condensation, as well as humidity. And now, as you can see, I'm going in with a very generous amount of that epoxy, but but not too much because what we don't want to happen is to have any of that glue to seep out and cause raindrops, if you will, on the outside of your candlesticks. Once you have glued those two pieces together, set them on a side and allow them to cure for about 30 minutes, of course, making sure that your pieces are leveled. Now that our two flower pots have been sealed, we're simply going to go in and place our lights within each one of those individual pots. Now I'm using these push lights that you can find at the Dollar Tree and behind each one of them is an adhesive pad that you can peel off and stick them into place. I am not going to use any hot glue of course because I would want to be able to take them off to change my batteries when the time comes but just making sure that there is one of those push lights in each one of those pots. Now that this half of our standalier stem, excuse me, has been cured, we are now going to glue that half to our bowl and then the subsequent or second half on top of that to make the stem for our chandelier. And to do this, pretty simply again, I'm just going to go in with a two-part epoxy and set that into place. And if you notice, because we have created a lot of chandeliers, a lot of stemmed pieces on our channel, typically I would go in with the wider part of that candle holder first. But as you can see this time, I am working with the top of that chandelier going upward so that when we get to the top of our stem, we will have that smaller piece going up into and locking into our chandelier lamp, if you will. And so just continuing this process with a good amount of that two-part epoxy around the rim, making sure not to have it ooze, making sure not to have it drip. And once that epoxy has been set into place, placing the other half of our stem onto it, making sure that it is leveled 
and setting this entire piece off to the side to cure for about 30 minutes. So here we have the lampshade, if you will, or the top of our chandelier. And what I'm showing you here is how easy it is to stick your hand up under into one of those pots and push the lights on. Now, if you notice, I have my piece sitting on top of another wine glass. I did not want to secure that lampshade onto our chandelier stem while I st still had all of this heavy work to do. So as you can see, I'm simply going Going in with my soldering iron and I'm creating the holes that I need to hang my chandelier pieces now I'm going in straight top down and I realized once I started to place my hanging pieces off camera I couldn't get a good grip on that o-ring to place it in that if you call it that vertical hole so what I had to do off camera was go in on a horizontal and right into that lip in the same place where I placed my initial holes created my holes there and then it was much easier for me to place my chandelier pieces and I am using a length of 11 beads so here's our chandelier now that it has been created at the base level if you will you can see that i've hung all of my crystals and i've placed them into three strands on each one of those lamps now for me you guys know my florals i'm going to off camera use that floral foam to place an elegant arrangement of flowers and when I'm finished doing that, I will come back to show you, of course, what our finished project looks like. Well, here you have it, my darlings. Isn't she just absolutely gorgeous? Now, I will tell you that we have created a lot of these tabletop chandeliers on our channel, but I think I wanna say that this one is one of my absolute favorites. The reason being is that you would never think to use flower pots to create the shade of your chandelier. Flower pots, looking at them, to create a chandelier that could sit atop the table of any elegant event from a state dinner all the way to a royal wedding. My darlings, I think I would have to say that we have outdone ourselves this time. Now listen, the base of this project cost us a total of $8.75. From there, of course, you know that the embellishment of this piece is all entirely up to you and of course the sky would be the limit but for eight dollars and 75 cents using only dollar store materials i think my darlings that our catchphrase of why buy when you can diy fits so positively and purposefully right here do me a favor my darlings and tell me in the comment sections where would you use this piece or rather what event would you use this piece for i am looking forward to hearing from you i want to take this time to thank you for joining us today in creating this project if you are a member or i should say rather if you are a subscriber welcome my darlings if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please be sure to do us a favor subscribe set your notifications to all as well as continue to pass the word around so everyone would know what we are doing over here in this corner of YouTube. Until next time, my darlings, I thank you for spending some time with me today. Please take care and be well. And until I see you again, know that I love you all.